to earnings corner now. Uh, Chennai Petrochem has uh, come up with a very good set of numbers. Solid Q4 profits coming in at about 266 crore rupees. Total income at 5,817 crore rupees. Uh, joining in now is B. Ashok, the chairman of Indian Oil Corporation, whose subsidiary Chennai Petroleum, as I said, has posted a very strong set of numbers. And I have with me Lata Venkatesh in the studio to take us through the interview. Lata, over to you. Mr. Ashok, uh, good afternoon and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, can you give us some more details about how you notched up such a good yeah, profit number? Thank uh, you. What was the utilization and what was the inventory gain or loss? Uh, uh, well, uh, the quarterly performance in terms of throughput uh, of CPCL was uh, 2.832 million tons as compared to 2.716 million tons for the corresponding period of the previous year, which was an increase of 4.3%. However, actually for the whole year, the throughput was slightly lower at 9.644 million tons as compared to 10.782 million tons for the corresponding period. Okay. Uh, this reduction uh, was uh, a consequence of uh, plant shutdown as well as the floods uh, okay. which uh, impacted uh, Chennai mm. uh, in November uh, and December. Okay. But I must uh, say that uh, probably CPCL was one of the uh, first units to come out of the floods uh, mm. immediately on uh, receding of water okay. uh, from this. So okay. that has helped them. Mm. The distillate yield was the highest ever mm -hmm. at 72.5% as compared to 72.1%. Okay. And uh, for the year, mm. uh, turnover was slightly lower. Uh, uh, at 34,953 against 47,878. Yeah. So uh, I which wanted is, to know uh, about. due to the fallen prices. Okay. I agree but with you. I wanted to know the, primarily because of that, I had m more of an eye on inventory. In Q4 itself, was it an inventory loss or did you have to, did you actually book an inventory gain? Uh, no, I, I would say that uh, in terms of uh, 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 overall, I mm -hmm. mean, I, I can't uh, remember the figure for the Q4, okay. but overall there has been an inventory loss uh, during the current year, of, okay. uh, uh, and, uh, but it has not been as substantial as last year. Okay. So uh, th that in that sense, there has been a gain. Okay. But where the gains have been, uh, I, I can uh, bring it to your uh, mm -hmm. attention. The gains have been because the GRMs have been better. Okay, how much the were the GRMs? Year. Uh, we earned a GRM of 1498 crore, which, trans which translates to $5.27 uh, dollars per barrel mm -hmm. as compared to $1.97 dollars per barrel during the last year. Okay, what will be your so estimate the, uh, be of... Uh, one of the major implications, of course, uh, the... the yes, sir, I just wanted to know how would you look at both throughput and margins in FI17? Uh, well, uh, in terms of throughput, I think uh, we, we hope to continue with good throughputs, uh, but uh, we also need to factor in some of the shutdowns which, is, which are bound to happen uh, during the current year. Uh, but we think that uh, if we are able to uh, keep our planned shutdowns to within the planned period, mm. uh, our throughput should be good for FY17. Uh, because uh, you must uh, appreciate the fact that uh, uh, these areas, the, the BS4 mm. has uh, still not kicked off except for uh, Chennai as a city. So only part of the production of uh, CPCL mm. is on BS4. Okay. And from April uh, uh, next year, the entire supplies will have to be BS4. Okay. So a lot of projects are going on uh, mm. in, uh, in the refinery. Okay. Uh, probably the project spending uh, in the refinery has been one of the highest ever uh, during the last uh, one year. Okay. Uh, so, so that has been one thing. Okay. Uh, but uh, CPCL uh, uh, has also focused in terms of uh, certain other factors, especially reducing the CST under recovery, uh, which has uh, happened about 100 crores mm. uh, benefit has been there during the current year okay. because the incidence of CST has been reduced. That means okay. uh, more of the product has been uh, sold within the state of Tamil Nadu okay. and uh, not moved out of the state. Okay. So I actually want to ask you an update on the Ennor uh, uh, plant as well as the pipelines. Uh, what is the timetable? Uh, uh, by when will, it, will the gasification plant be up, uh, and the, the LNG terminal be up? And by when will all the pipelines be laid? Uh, see, at the, at the moment, I can tell you that the project is in uh, full steam. Uh, there were three major contracts uh, involved in the in the project. Mm. Uh, basically, one was the uh, the the storage, uh, the liquid storage. Mm. The second one was the regasification facility, and the third one was the marine uh, mm. facilities. All the three contracts are uh, already in place, and uh, works are on uh, in terms of fabrication of the storage tanks, 
and at the site also works are uh, going on in terms of installation of various facilities and so on. Okay. So we expect that by, uh, uh, by mid-2018, uh, mm. this uh, project should be up. Uh, uh, and doing mm. and uh, by that time uh, I mean uh, as you know uh, Indian Oil also has the uh, has won the bid for uh, construction of the pipeline mm. pipelines mm. Uh, we we do expect that uh, we should be making uh, sufficient progress uh, but what uh, we are quite confident of is that uh, the significant uh, demand uh, area is uh, very close to the project site I mean within an area of uh, within a radius of about 30 to 50 kilometers you mm. know uh, more than 60 percent of the demand uh, okay. is there so okay. we think that we should be able to uh, cater to that demand at least to start with and the anchor customers are obviously is uh, our own uh, refinery of CPCL as mm. well as uh, the nearby fertilizer unit okay. and uh, which we should be able to uh, supply uh, as soon as we commission the project. What 2018 mid 2018 end beginning No, mid-2008. Mid okay. Well, I have final questions. are not exactly Chennai Petro, but since I have the IOC chairman, I can't resist asking this question. Uh, what about the Dhambra port uh, 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 gas facility? At what stage is it? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm asking you this on behalf of a whole lot of uh, uh, gas-based power units which are hoping that uh, there will be something on the eastern front that will come up sooner or later. Is there... Uh, can you give us some update on when uh, your gas units... Uh, in Dhamra come up. Uh, well, uh, Dhamra, the project is uh, a partnership project uh, between private and public sector. Mm. And uh, it, uh, we are also uh, uh, planning a 5 million ton to start with, which mm. is expandable up to 10 million tons capacity. Mm. Uh, uh, we have already booked a capacity of uh, 3 million tons in the 5 million ton project. And uh, obviously, Dhamra is extremely close to Paradeep refinery, which is already commissioned and uh, uh, it's in the stabilization phase. And uh, the anchor customer is very close, and we also have the, our other refineries, uh, namely Haldia, uh, which is also quite close uh, from this project. Mm. Uh, so we are making good progress. Uh, we, uh, when should along it be with up, partners, you think? Uh, we should be in a position to firm up uh, the terms very, very shortly. Uh, we, we also believe that uh, somewhere towards the end of uh, 2018, I think this uh, project should be there. Okay, this is a, uh, a gas terminal, right? Uh, we still need to make a lot of progress on 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 the on the details. Mm. Uh, yes, this is a LNG regasification terminal. Okay. And uh, and you're making Dhamra progress on pipelines as well for where this, this regasification terminal is going to be set up. No, we are, uh, uh, we are making progress uh, as far as the LNG uh, uh, liquef I mean, uh, regasification facility is concerned. Okay. Uh, the pipeline is an independent uh, uh, project mm. uh, which has been uh, separately uh, bid out. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, we are quite confident that uh, by the time the project is ready, these things also should be in place. All right. So 2018 seems to be magic here when perhaps we will have gas surplus. Thank you very much, Mr. Ashok, for joining us uh, as well with your details on Chennai Petro.